I'm Christian, the OUP body. I live in Owens Grove, just across there, and we are on the Farmington River. And right here is the backside of the Firestone Plantation Company. And like you just saw there, we just passed one of the major outlets that Firestone is using to pollute this river. If you had come earlier, or when you come here earlier when the factory is busy and everybody is at work, you will see the pieces, the lumps of rubber coming out there. And it comes straight into this water and has damaged, the pollution here has damaged the total marine life here. All of the features, all of those features we had along the water bank here have moved off the shore here because they cannot no, no longer make it here. We had different kinds of features here. We had some of them coming from the sea. We had the gray paws, we got the common name for the other fish, you call it buka. We had different kinds of fish, but right now you can't get them anymore. Even if you go along the bank of the water to fishing, you won't. Now what Firestone is doing, because of the issue with green advocacy that the Orange Group people is fighting towards to put a stop to this, of pollution, all right, they have just erected some closing point there, all right, you see there, and here, this one is newly established, the plank is still there, when we go closer, you can see, all right, so they're trying to close the outlets, you know, but they, they are not doing it with all of them, they're just doing a very few of them, and they continue to pollute the water on a daily basis, I would appreciate if we could go closer, so you will, you will come to realize that this is still under construction, this place, they're trying to close it, or it's still under construction, all right, and it's still allowing the waste to come into the water. If you look off the shore there, the surface of the land can tell you. If you just look there, you come to realize where the, the waste are coming through. All right, the planks are still on that one because it's not dry off. So you will agree with what I'm saying that indeed, they are trying to cover up. Yeah. We are going down where they got the dark, right after the dark is the major plant, where they got all the chemical storage, all right? And you will see the things there. I don't know, we might not be able to go very closer because there's very strong odor there from the chemical they use there. All right? But I will appreciate as we are going that you, you will go closer a little bit and you understand exactly what we're saying here. Yeah. Across there, all of our wells connected along the river banks, we can no longer use them. We cannot drink from them. They have started, our people are being infected from the, from the, from the spread of the, the, the pollution, the chemical waste. They use folic acid, they use uh, famaraha, different kind of uh, uh, safaric acid and all of that, and they are spread across there. Crops don't normally grow across there anymore. No way. One, from the odor. Two, from the fish we used to eat from the water. We started eating the fish and we discovered a lot of people suffering from running stomach cholera. Some of the children ratchets coming out on their body. We got our brother here who is fully swollen up because he used to fish here along the water. Yeah. We got different, we got, we got some of the children here now, they almost go on creeper. Yeah. We can't no longer drink the water. Any water or water that we used to drink. When we, when we, when we on the water, we used to dip it, drink it, and life was normal. But because of the continual pollution, now the water has lost its taste and it is detrimental for drinking. Yeah. Now you see there's one of the, 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 the outlet where they, they put the, the waste. There's a, there's a pipe coming from a latrine, the separate thing. Switch. Yeah, switch, it runs switch into, the water. into the water. Yeah.
Now you see these tanks? They contain different kinds of acid. Ammonia, sulfuric acid. Some of them contain formaldehyde and what have you. The different, different types of chemicals that they are using for the processing of the rubber. All right? There's a place in there. All right? Where they do the process is on center field. You can't go there, in fact. No way. They don't let anybody go. <laughs> it's dangerous. All right? You go there, you won't survive it. You come outside and start burning blood from your nose. For the chemical they use in there. Well, it's just by the grace of God. Because those that are working there, they, they sacrifice their life just to make ends meet. Yeah. We've cried so many times. But our cry landed on deaf ears. We cried, we asked Firestone 1 to put a stop to what we're doing, to compensate our teachers, to help extend our clinic to at least a community clinic level where we can be able to battle over some of the, 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 the diseases that people get from this water and the pollution they are causing, and everything land on deaf ear. No good result. And this process been on before I was born. And we met it and joined the team and continued to campaign for relief. And up to now, nothing. No, no, no benefit. Nothing. They continue to pollute the water, continue to damage the lives of our people. Our, 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 our farming life is gone down now because the entire uh, landscape here is being damaged. All right, we can't grow here. Even our livestock, they, they, we can keep them close here. Those who manage to still raise, uh, you know, do cattle raising, we have to move them far up because when they come across the water and drink from it, they die. Yeah. Now those are small, small pieces of rubber. They come off, they, they look crumbs when they're coming off. All right? They come up through the outlet there, and then they go down along the water cell. And those small, small pieces of rubber you see going, those crumbs of water looks like foam. They all carry different kinds of uh, chemical. Some of them have sulfuric acid in there, some of them have ammonia, some of them have uh, formaldehyde in there. They all contain different kinds of, 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 of chemical. All right? And they're coming right in from, right from the factory there. What you're looking at, that's the outlet there. Okay, you see the guys in there. There they are washing the rubber, okay, taking all the dirt from there. And then the water you see there comes through there in the storage tank here, and then it goes right into the Farmington River where they're wasting. All right? So all of the, we're gonna rubber that some of them are already been first hand processed, all right? So those chemicals are already there along with the other dirt that are there that they don't want to keep in there before they export the, the rubbers, all right? They wash it there before packing it in the, 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 the crates there, all right? And then the water from there come right here and then they dump there into the Farmington River. Yeah. As they are washing the rubber there and doing the processing, the water is running through here and going through one of the outlets there. The same applied to the end when we went down there. Yeah. So they, are, they use this. There's an opening here to get the rubber, go, the, the, the water going up. Yeah.